Hi, this is Mark News from Plant Talk Radio. Thanks for subscribing and listening to our podcast, Your Gardening Questions, from Plant Talk Radio. To help keep this podcast free, we're partnering with Stoke Seeds. More than just a listing of vegetable and flower seeds, the Stoke Seeds website is a complete resource center with valuable information on seed starting, planting, and harvesting, plus all the gardening accessories you need to make your garden the envy of the neighborhood. Pre-order your free 2018 gardening guide today from stokeseeds.com, cultivating successful growers for generations. We'll have more to come from Stoke Seeds in the next few weeks. Now, on to today's question. Yes, I uh, I dug some uh, tulip and daffodil bulbs this year, dug them up, and I was uh, taking them apart, some of them and stuff, and I, I replanted some of them. What's my best way to keep some of those until next year, or if I'd want to give some to somebody, what's the best way to keep them? Like through this winter into into next year, or can you? Okay, you really can, Jeff. Now let me let me explain that. Um, that that you dug them, divided them, and put some back is a good thing to have done. Uh, that is indeed a proper procedure. Uh, right now, I can tell you that from this point on through, it's going to be difficult to do. But a, a three quarter inch drill and a three inch bit on it. Uh, you can probably help those people or have them. <laughs> I would be inclined to tell them how and walk away. But at the same time, uh, they could still plant because I don't think the ground is frozen much in most cases. The crust maybe is, but under grass and uh, under mulched beds and so on, probably not frozen. It, you cannot keep them over. Um, their, their, their life cycle will just simply disallow that. Uh, I have indeed found some in my own garage years ago that I bought with every intent of doing this, this, and this. Found them right after Christmas. The ground had frozen, uh, et cetera. I still, I, I thought, well, we'll wait for a warm day until the surface thaws. And I literally went out and, and just what we'll call screwed them into the ground. They, they were, they were probably not even into the ground. And, all that I got that year was some little short flower heads, um, cute little things, but uh, a devastating waste of my time and bulbs. And these were good, good, um, good starts. So their their cycle just does not allow them to be held dormant over winter. They they've got to go on with that cycle of dormancy in the winter time, uh, having already set their flower buds back probably by June one, and then up and doing their thing. So I'd give them to the folks now and uh, encourage them to get them in the ground as soon as they can. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> You're most welcome. I, 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 I appreciate what you did. Next time, I encourage them to come and get them quicker. Thanks again for listening to the podcast. If you have a question for Fred, go ahead and email us, fred at planttalkradio.com. And for the best selection of vegetable, flower, and herb seeds available, go to www.stokeseeds.com. Pre-order your free 2018 gardening guide today from stokeseeds.com. Cultivating successful growers for generations.